You're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, Rosemary, at long last, part one. Rosemary had never seen a Bible, even though she attended Mass twice a week throughout her childhood and listened to the priest read scripture passages, it wasn't until she was 12 that she actually saw a Bible. One day, she was thrilled to find one by chance in her family's basement. Finally, here was her opportunity to see what was inside a real Bible. Filled with great anticipation, she opened it and began reading. But her excitement quickly evaporated when she discovered strange words that didn't make sense. She soon gave up. A couple of years later, she stopped attending church altogether. As a Catholic, I was never shown, given, or instructed to read the Bible, she says, yet she has always felt a strong interest for God's Word. The Lord was preparing the way to reveal Himself to Rosemary. Years passed, and Rosemary went through some heart-wrenching times. She had a daughter out of wedlock. Then she lost her mother. Though they were not very close, she had longed for things to improve, but now that door was closed. She felt overwhelmed by the pain and confusion. During these challenging years, she read a book that described a group of Christians who attended church together and then met for dinner afterward to read and discuss the Bible. The idea fascinated her. Do people actually read and discuss the Bible like a textbook? She wondered. One day, Rosemary sat eating lunch in a picnic-like area in front of the hospital where she worked. A woman she'd seen around the hospital asked to join her for lunch. As they ate, the woman introduced herself as Cynthia and shared how she'd found Christ at a community college in Sacramento. At the end of their conversation, Cynthia gave Rosemary her phone number and told her that she'd be happy to pick up Rosemary and her young daughter any time they'd like to visit church with her. Before the week was over, Rosemary called and accepted the offer, a decision that impacted the rest of her life. Do you have a strong and personal interest in the Bible? Amos 8.11 tells us that God will create a hunger for the Word in people's hearts. Our key Bible text today comes from Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 12. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional.